Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. One of my all-time favorite Mexican foods is the chile relleno. And on today's video, I'm going to be making some chile relleno sausages. By the way, this is the very first ever YouTube video making chile relleno sausages. Stay tuned. All right, so let's get started on these chile relleno sausages. I'm gonna be using 160 grams of salt, 45 grams of black pepper, 25 grams of cumin, 45 grams of paprika, 45 grams of red chili powder, 10 grams of a really hot chili powder, 45 grams of garlic powder, 45 grams of onion powder, 10 grams of oregano. As you can see, it's quite a bit, so that's only 10 grams. Speed Cure, I'm using five tablespoons because we're using 25 pounds of meat. All right, so I'm using 15 pounds of beef and on today's recipe, I am using a beef shoulder clod. I do have a boneless 10 pound pork shoulder. I'm gonna be using two and a half pounds of roasted poblano pepper. Now this poblano pepper is what the authentic chile rellenos are made with, okay? And I'm also gonna be using two and a half pounds of this queso chihuahua. That's the authentic way to make a chile relleno. And I do wanna thank Sergio Marquez for bringing this cheese to me all the way from Mexico. All right, so the very first thing that we gotta do is we gotta roast these poblano peppers. Let's head outside to my Yoder flat top. All right, so I've got my Yoder flat top fired up and I am using some Jealous Devil lump charcoal. So I'm just gonna place the peppers right on top of this grate. Get these peppers nice and roasted. That Jealous Devil charcoal is really gonna leave a smoky flavor on this poblano pepper. All right, so I'm gonna roast these peppers up. I'll bring you guys back as soon as I pull them off. Stay tuned. All right, so the peppers have only been roasting for about 15 minutes and they are ready. This is exactly what you want right here. You want that skin nice and charred. So the next step is to put them inside a plastic Ziploc bag, let them steam. That's gonna make it easy to peel off that char. Stay tuned. All right, so the fire roasted poblano peppers have been sitting inside the Ziploc bag for 30 minutes. Now they're still pretty hot, but what's happened is the meat got really nice and soft, and that also allows you to take this char off really simple, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing. And once we peel the char off, I'm gonna slice it in half, take the seeds and the stem off, and then cut these into small cubes. Probably quarter inch to three eighths cubes, okay? Real simple, just like that. All right, so as far as the meat, I've got a 15 pound shoulder clod and 10 pounds of boneless pork shoulder. Now I'm using a shoulder clod because of the price of briskets, okay? I would normally use brisket, but brisket is like $5.99 a pound for prime. And the shoulder clod, believe it or not, was only $2.99 a pound. Now it's got some fat on the outside, but it's very lean meat in the center, okay? Just using my Dow Strong knife. All right, so as you can see, you have very little marbling inside that meat. Now, shoulder clods, I've made pulled beef sandwiches before, and it is fantastic. So I'm just gonna cut the shoulder clod and the pork shoulder down into small chunks, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got my shoulder clod and my pork shoulder all cubed up. Now, I did wanna show you that on the shoulder clod, you will have some pockets of connective tissue like this. Take it off because this stuff is pretty tough and I don't think it'll break down. In fact, I think the grinder will just pass it through, it's so tough. So I've got my grinder attachments in the freezer. I'm gonna take it off, set up my grinder, and we'll grind up this meat. Stay tuned. All right, I've got my grinder set up. Gonna drop a few pieces of beef and some of this pork down inside the throat, just like that. Turn the grinder on. All right, so I'm gonna grind the rest of this meat up, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so we've got the meat completely ground up, and by the way, I am using a four and a half millimeter die, and I was thinking about passing this through twice, but I'm really liking this texture right here. So the next step is I'm gonna pop this in my freezer, set up my mixer, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got my mixer set up, 
And I'm just gonna add my 25 pounds of meat. All right, so I'm gonna add all of our spices. All right, so I've got four cups of ice water. This is just crushed ice with water. I'm gonna add about one cup for now. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna turn the mixer on. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. All right, so that's been mixing for about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add our fire roasted poblano peppers. Again, this is two and a half pounds. So these poblanos aren't always very spicy, but something tells me that there's a couple of spicy ones in there. So I'm gonna turn the mixer on again. All right, so it's been another five minutes. Now let's check that protein extraction and see if it's nice and sticky. Just grab it a little bit, make a patty in your hand, and I'm liking this. See how that doesn't fall? That's exactly what you want right there. So at this point, I'm gonna add my Chihuahua cheese. I did cube it up and pop it in my freezer. So it's frozen cheese right now. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up. All right, that looks good right there. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the sausage mixture and make myself a little patty. I'm gonna fry it up and check the seasoning and make sure that we have enough spices. So I'll bring you guys back in a couple of minutes. All right, so I've got a sausage patty fried up. Let's see how it tastes. It smells absolutely amazing. Look at that, still nice and hot. Got a good amount of cheese and some of the poblano pepper. Here we go. Mm -mm. Wow. That is actually perfect. All right, so I'm gonna get the sausage mixture out of our mixer and get ready to stuff these sausages. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got my stuffing container and I've got our sausage mixture right here. Just make sure you pack it in there really nice and tight. You don't want any air pockets in your sausage mixture because that'll cause a blowout of your casing. Look at this mixture. Good amount of cheese in there, the poblano pepper. The meat has a red color and that's coming from the paprika and the red chili powder. All right, so the stuffing canister is completely filled up. Just gonna put it in place here and lower that piston just a little bit. Okay. Gonna add our stuffing tube. All right, so we're just gonna grab one of the hog casings right here, find the end of it. Now these are from PS Seasoning. This is the Van Hessen brand. I'll leave a link below on where you can buy these. Just gonna add a little bit of water. And the reason I like this brand is because they seem to hold up. Once you stuff them, you have very little blowouts and they're nice and long as well. So just add a little bit of water to your stuffing tube. Just load up your casing. See how long these are? All right, so what I like to do is pull the casing all the way through, just like that. Turn your stuffer and get some of that sausage to the tip of the stuffing tube. Just like that. Pull out the casing and tie a simple knot. Just like that. 
All right, so I do have my lovely daughter here, my assistant sausage maker. So let's get to stuffing. Now I like my sausages nice and plump. So make sure you fill up that casing. And this goes really quick. Just fill it up enough so that you have enough room to tie a knot. Go and stop. Okay. Pull the casing out and tie your knot. So I'm going to get the rest of these casings done and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so we're done stuffing the casings and I've got seven of these wheels. So next thing is to twist our sausages. And I do have it pre-measured at six and a half inches right here. So I'll measure six and a half inches, pinch right here, measure another six and a half inches, pinch and twist, okay? Now, if your casing is loose, just keep twisting until it gets nice and tight, okay? Six and a half inches, pinch, six and a half inches right here. Look at this nice and girthy sausage. And then just twist or twirl, okay? Let me do one more for you guys. Pinch, measure, pinch, and twirl, just like that. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these done and we'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got all of the sausages linked up and I've got a total of 97 sausages. Now this sausage roll right here is very special. For some reason, this casing was extra big. So look at this girthy sausage right here. I mean, this sucker right here is almost twice the girthiness, if that's a word, of any other sausages that I made. But this is the entire casing, so I really like this casing. Not sure why this happened, but this is the first time I've ever experienced that, where you've got a really large casing. All right, so I'm gonna put these sausages in my fridge overnight. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna pop them in my PK100 smoker and get some smoke on them. Stay tuned. All right, so it's the very next morning and I do have my PK100 warmed up at 140 degrees. By the way, I am using this mixed hardwood sawdust from PS Seasonings. Now this is by far my favorite flavor for smoking sausages, so I highly recommend it. All right, so I do have my sawdust pan right here. Now I did add a little bit of water just to moisten the sawdust a little bit. So that's gonna go directly on that burner that you see there on the bottom. Just like that. All right, so I'm also adding my drip tray. It's gonna catch any fat that drips off of the sausages. I'm gonna shut the door down. I'm gonna let it smoke at 140 degrees for about three hours. I'll bring you guys back at that point. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been three hours since we first put our sausages on. And I do wanna mention that earlier when I put the sausages on, I did close the dampers two thirds, okay? So the exhaust is two thirds closed and so is the intake on the door. But now that I'm gonna start cooking, I'm gonna shut them down completely all right, so I'm gonna set my temperature to 200 degrees. Just hold the arrow up button. And hit the set button right there. So I'm using my ThermoPro wireless thermometer to monitor my temperatures. And right now the bottom rack is at 119 degrees and the top rack is right at 118. So I can take this within 500 feet and still be able to monitor my temperature. Let's take a look at those sausages. All right, so that's what these sausages look like after three hours. Now I am looking for 155 degrees internal. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door. I'll bring you guys back as soon as I pull them off. All right, so the total cook time has been six hours and the internal temperature has finally hit 150 degrees. Take a look at these bad boys right here. Look at that. So I'm just gonna put them in an ice bath. And the reason we do that is number one, to stop the cooking process. And number two, it's really gonna add a nice snap to your sausage. All right, so these sausages have cooled off. I've got my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker running at 275 degrees. I am using some Jealous Devil pellets today. So I've gotta fill up my hopper. These boxes are fantastic, by the way. Just lift up the flat, open up your hopper and dump them in. All right, so let's load up our sausages. These are gonna go on the top shelf, again at 275 degrees. Now these aren't gonna take very long. 
even though they're cooled off, they should only take about 20 minutes, if that. We'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so these sausages are ready and the total cook time on my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker was only 25 minutes. And this is what we got right here. Really nice red color. I cannot wait to dig into these chile relleno sausages. And look at this girthy bad boy right here. That's gonna make somebody happy. So let's slice into it and see what we got. Oh man, right out of the gate we got some cheese oozing out. Oh yes. That's what I wanted. I wanted to make sure that every bite had a little bit of cheese and some of that poblano pepper as well. I can tell you this casing has a really nice snap because it is popping just cutting it. Look at that bad boy right there. Let's give it a try. All right, let's give these chile relleno sausages a try and see how we did. Look at that, got some cheese and some poblano pepper. It's still steaming hot, not sure if you guys can see that, but here we go. Mmm. You know that cheese and that poblano pepper really have an authentic Mexican flavor. This is delicious. Mmm. So the texture of the sausage is perfect. You have that creaminess from the cheese and then that smoky poblano pepper. This is an amazing sausage. We're gonna make ourselves a traditional Texas taco. Got a homemade flour tortilla. Just gonna grab one of these bad boys right here. And we got a Texas taco. Let's see how it tastes. Look at that texture. This is fantastic. So I know I've said this before in a few of my videos, every time I make a new sausage, it's my all time favorite. But this one right here is very special. If you're into making sausage, follow this recipe and you will be amazed at the flavor of this chile relleno sausage. Don't forget to check out the description box. There you're gonna find links to some of the items that I use in this video. If this is your first time here, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.